Today we're going to have a quick look at the worms and see how they're doing. Uh, we'll check on this bin over here, which I built in a previous video. And we'll also take a look at a couple others that I have. So I have three worm bins that I'm running at the moment. And it's quite interesting to run them side by side because you get to see what works, what doesn't, what sort of climate they prefer. The results have been quite interesting. And um, I think I'll be making some changes to, well, specifically this one over here, I'll be making some changes because you'll, you'll see why in a bit. So let's open up the bins. So you can see here, this one is quite a bit wet, right? So it's very wet down the bottom here. Um, up here, it's all right. You can see actually the worms are doing really well in the areas that aren't very wet. But that's because there's no drainage in the bottom of this. So I shred cardboard like this and uh, I use this to try and soak up some of the moisture. So what I do is I just throw it down the bottom there, dig it in to the bottom and let it do its thing. But otherwise, the bin's actually quite healthy. You can see there's loads of worms here. Um, another thing I've started doing, I don't mash up my food anymore. I think that adds to the amount of moisture that's in here. It's not a good thing. So instead, I'm throwing in whole food like this and the worms actually really enjoy it. These here have been eaten by slugs and other things. You can see there's quite a few slugs in here. But I'm not too bothered by that. I don't think it's too much of a problem. The worms seem happy and they take the leftovers. I'm sure they they all work together quite well. The, the worms are doing well enough. So I'm, I'm not too fussed about the slugs. But I am, like I say, putting in whole food now and the worms are not complaining. Over there you can see loads and loads of worms. So there's been, it's not a disaster. It's actually, it's working really well, but too wet for my liking it's going to make it quite difficult to harvest this compost but let's move on to the next bin and you'll see what I want this bin to actually look like So you can see with this one, I'm also using a lot of whole foods with these carrots and that over here. So I'm just throwing them on the top, but again, the worms are all really enjoying it. We can see that there's loads of babies in this one. Uh, this here is just to stop the water from collecting on top of this plastic, but let me take that out for now. So again, loads of slugs in here. I hate slugs. I don't want to be breeding them, but there are quite a few in here, nothing I can do about it really. Um, but like I say, the worms don't really mind. This is much drier. You can see this is very crumbly. This is what I'd like the other bin to be like. I was worried this was too dry, but like you can see the worms are abundant. There's loads of babies here. Uh, this is an old marrow from my garden that's insane have a look at that let me zoom into that this is an old marrow from my garden so a lot of YouTube videos tell you to mash up your food because it helps them to eat it quickly but honestly I'm gonna stop doing that all that seems to happen especially in the last bin I'll show you which is inside my garage the uh, where, the bin is so wet and that's because you keep mashing up this food and the worms can't process it quick enough or all these other creatures so look at this this here is, is mad this is a whole courgette and these worms love it look at all these things let me just stick that back underneath here so you can see this is fairly dry I mean this is crumbly this is lovely lovely stuff because this is an old sink, there's a drain pipe directly underneath here. So, you can have a look. It's not collecting a hell of a lot. 
but there is some liquid that's coming out. There was a bit more I emptied out yesterday actually, but not a whole lot. A lot more liquid comes out when I mash up the food. So like I say, no longer going to be mashing up the food. I'm just going to be sticking it in and then the worms do what they do in nature. One thing I do try and do uh, to stop the slugs from eating too much of the food is I cover it up with the, the vermicompost that's already in here. So like I've done with this marrow, the worms have gone crazy with it. The slugs can't really get at it. Um, I try and cover up most of this, but worms shouldn't be hard work. They should be nice and easy. You should be able to just throw some food in, let the worms do the job and get some lovely compost at the end. Uh, just in case you're wondering, that's a bit of plastic. That's not actually plastic. It's uh, bags made out of cornstarch. So in the UK, we have recycling bags that we get given for for doing uh, food composting. And it's made out of cornstarch, so they break down quite easily. And that's the leftover of, of one of them. So the spin is doing great. I uh, wish this tub was bigger. <laughs> it's filling up so quickly. But really happy with it. Loads of eggs as well. I want to point out something else. This bin, I'm not wetting it. I'm never spraying it with water. I'm literally letting it just do its thing. The food that I'm throwing in is adding all the moisture it needs. The worms aren't trying to escape. They're uh, more than happy. And uh, I don't feel the need to have to wet it. Just as long as you're keeping enough food in here, then they're happy. So let's take a closer look and see if we can find some eggs in here. There's loads of baby worms. There's an egg over there. There's some baby worms. Silly slug. So these worms have been multiplying like crazy. Uh, there's an egg over there. So there's a little egg over there. Let's let that go back in there. So lots of activity here, lots of baby worms, um, lots of eggs, and really can't be happier with this. So let's cover this back up and we'll show you the last bin which is inside the garage. So let's have a look at my last bin over here. So this one has a few little problems. The worms are still okay in it. Um, but there's mold. Loads of worms still you can see. Um, I can't really complain about that. Uh, it has got very wet in the past which is why you can see all the cardboard in here now. I'm just trying to absorb the excess moisture but it's got like almost a muddy consistency but the worms are still multiplying. I've got loads of these little insects here. It doesn't smell the greatest not really good smelling but uh, let it get a bit wet if we look underneath you can see there that looks really wet but still loads of worms um, i am keeping cardboard i keep adding cardboard to it so it absorbs any excess moisture um, but the ones outside the worm bins i have outside are definitely doing a much better job so i might end up moving this outside and maybe refreshing these bins a little bit because it really doesn't smell great that's it for today's update from the worm bins. I know I don't update too often on the worms, but honestly, they should be just getting on and doing their thing. There shouldn't be updates every day. I will update you again uh, as the season starts getting a bit cooler. We'll see what challenges we have then. What's interesting is the bin that I've made the least effort with, the uh, sink bin, that's the one that's doing the best. Just goes to show we shouldn't fuss around our worms too much. Like I say, I've stopped mashing up the food because I do believe it just it lets the moisture come out too quickly if you're putting whole food into the bin then the worms have a better chance of just breaking it down in their own time you don't want to rush them just let them do their thing I'm finding the best results is just adding whole pieces maybe chop it up a little bit but definitely don't blend it or anything like that thank you very much for watching and we'll see you again on the next video bye bye for now